Well, welcome to this video about the stage-based operations in Impel. Overall, Impel has four or five major entities, especially on the Salesforce side. The entities are accounts, which are companies, and you can add a company from here. And when you add a company, you can give it a name, an address, a phone number, things like that. Most importantly, Impel helps you take away duplicates in companies when you add data. For example, if I key in A-D-O-N, it tells me, hey, there is something called Adonis Design. Is that what you want? And if I say no, I, I key in something else, it will just accept that and go forward. So that is called Smart Suggest. That's the kind of thing you can do. Once you add accounts, you can add contacts. Contacts are human beings. So accounts are companies, contacts are human beings. And if you go from here and go out and say, add a contact on this page, there's an add link. And when you add a contact, you can add similar information about a contact. You can add the name of the contact. You can add an address, a phone number, email ID, all the things that you want to know about a human being. You can also add uh, images like you just saw. And when you add the co uh, contact information, you can go choose Dr., Miss, Miss, M Mrs., whatever. And again, on the contact name also, you will see a similar, uh, you know, behavior in terms of we didn't. If I if I take away this thing, there are. Are you talking about Prem Jai Singh, Vicky Jaiswal? I'm not. I'm talking about something somebody called Jai Shankar, and I can move on and on, right? So this is basic information about contact. Once you have accounts and contacts, now we will want to start adding leads or opportunities. Or you might want to approach it differently. You might want to start completely with leads. Think of leads as business cards. When you get a business card, what do you know about that person? You know the name, address, phone number, company, and so on. And maybe you know what that person is interested in from your company. But you don't know if that person is actually going to buy from your company. Also, you don't know if that person is a valid prospect for you. He might be looking for something very expensive. You might be at the other end of the market or typically the other way around. You might be looking for something very cheap and you're looking, for an you're looking to sell an expensive product. In those cases where you don't know whether this individual is a potential customer or not, but you want to track that person in the database, what you do is you go to the lead list and add a lead. And when you add a lead, you can put in, like I said, the similar information. You can choose a Mr., Mrs., Ms., whatever, and you can key in very similar, if you remember, I told you, Dinesh Jain, Prem Jaising, is the same information that is being shown, right? People that are already in the database to avoid duplicates. Now, it doesn't matter. This is, I met Prem Jaising again. So the moment I choose that, it will go ahead and pre-fill all the data that you have, that it already knows about that person. If it is not that person, go unlock and key in whatever you want. So you key in a name and maybe a company name. This again will be filled in, right? And uh, Adonis Designs, this is not the company I want. You can fill in all that. This is one way to get leads in. So leads are where your process begins. Another way to get leads in is to upload data. You can go back to the list and click on Upload. And when you click on Upload, there's a page that comes up and shows you, you can choose, put the leads into a particular marketing program maybe, which you ran, maybe you collected all the leads in some conference that you went to, whatever, you can choose all those things. And how you set up the marketing program is up here. We'll talk about that later. So you can give it a file and hit upload. And it'll put all the data in there in this format and all the data will land up in this lead list. There are other ways of getting leads into the system, into including web and SMS, and we'll talk about that separately. Now, once a lead is up there, you've talked to the lead, he says he is interested, but you don't know for sure. You haven't qualified that person. So you first record your conversation with that lead as an activity, right? You're going to tie this activity to this lead. So you key in whatever activity information you have. After you know, that the person is actually interested, you go out and convert. And when you convert, you click on this, and it comes back and says, hey, are you sure you want to convert to the first opportunity stage processing, which is qualified lead? Now, qualified lead has been configured in this system. In your system, it might be something else. 
the first page after lead may be something else. And if I click convert, if I click yes, it will go there. Right now, I will not do that because this is live data for me. But once converted, the opportunity will appear in the opportunity list. If it's not converted, it will not appear here. And this, when I click the opportunity tab, shows me all the opportunities. Whereas, if I hover over the stage and choose just qualified lead, it will show me those opportunities that have just been converted or have been entered into the qualified lead stage. Now, I want to point out one other factor about opportunities. There are stages, which is different steps that you go through when you sell, and there are statuses. A status is whether this company is still overall interested or not. For example, if you look here, open is a status. That means we are still talking to them. And when we are talking to them, they could be qualified, they could be in negotiation, they could be in active consideration, whatever. Whereas at some point, let us say you've been talking to the guy, he's already come to an active consideration stage, but then you find out he's not going to work out because he's looking for something very cheap. You can go in there and change the status of the opportunity to say this particular individual, there's no point talking to him. It disqualified or whatever other status you have set. For example, in our case, 